and I'm coming to you with a Swatches with Friends video! Swatches with Friends is a series, for those of you who are new, where um, uh, friends of mine who have sent me things, like ink and stuff, I uh, swatch them in a special video dedicated to the friends that have sent me stuff because um, it's really super cool when you send me stuff. Nobody needs to send me anything. But um, I think you should get like a sp special spotlight or shout out when you do send me stuff. So I have um, here a bunch of stuff from, <coughs> excuse me, from uh, one of my friends, Tuzcan, in the comments. She sent me a bunch of inks and stuff and some other things. But I've also gotten some other gifts that I wanted to show off. I don't think, we've got a lot here to swatch, so depending on how long this takes, I may get to do some of the other things, but I wanted to show things off because it's it's nice when people send me things. Like, again, don't feel like you have to, you totally don't have to, but um, I have had people who are lovely enough to send me things. So this is actually like a very, very, very late birthday present, um, late on my part. Uh, for going to the to the post office, I have um, I have um, informed delivery, and the informed delivery was telling me I kept getting spam mail and like little flyers and things, and I was like, I don't need to go to the post office to get flyers and things. I'll just pick it up next time I get mail, and so I didn't check it. Um, this came actually the day after my birthday, uh, back in October, and I just picked it up at like the end of. Um, November, beginning of December. I don't remember when it was. It was it was um, too long ago though, and um, I figured um, that I would just um, set these aside for when I got a chance to swatch videos or swatch swatch inks, and then I got behind on Inkvent, and then anyway, long story short, here we are. I'm finally swatching um, the lovely inks and things that Tez can send me. But I've gotten a few other cool things that I wanna show off. So for Christmas, my sister sent me this uh, Moon Man uh, Wan Kai Mini. Um, if you watch Chris Signs, you're familiar with these pens because she loves these pens. Am I twisting this on right? There we go. Um, yeah, the reservoir is an ink chamber. Um, I think you can fit, um, cartridges like international short international cartridges i haven't tested this theory but um yeah i have another one of these in the pinky the pink swirl um it's like clear like this but it has pink in it um and it's a great pen like it's teeny tiny but it's great for the pocket it holds like a ton of ink once you put the cap on it's actually pretty manageable they write really nicely actually i love these pens so thank you to my sister but along with this pen she sent me because purple is my favorite color a bottle of pelican 4001 violet which is an ink i don't have oh the cap is cracked though uh-oh i may need to get another bottle hopefully i'm not going to open this um hopefully the ink nothing's leaked out so that's good news but i need to i, I may need to buy a replacement bottle um but yeah Pelican 4001 Violet, which is a great ink. I think I have a sample or have used a sample of it, um, but yeah. So, awesome. Very excited to play with these. Um, I may ink this pen with one of these samples because um, I don't want to mess with this bottle right now. So we will wait to swatch that one. And then I also received a pen, a Sailor Look Cool in the Rose Quartz from my friend Casey along with a couple of samples I'm not gonna get to today. We will save these for another time because I have so many inks to swatch, but uh, Roar and Klingner, Koenigsblau, Tonio, Tono and Limbs Yo-Yo, and Tono and Limbs Coconut, Cola Nuts. So thank you, Casey. Thank you for these lovely, lovely presents. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Okay, we're good. Casey also sent me, um, some cat treats for Pearl, and um, she freaking loves them. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, so we'll save these inks from Casey. I have, oh God, I have so much inks to swatch, um, but I wanna get through these, so. Um, this, you may see, is a bottle of Communication Breakdown. This has been a favorite ink of mine. 
um, from um, 30 Inks 30 Days. Not only September, but I think it was, oh yeah, it was a pen friend appreciation that I used in June. And people loved it so much they requested it in September. <laughs> and had I done November, there probably would have been a request for it as well. I love this ink. And I had been thinking about getting myself a bottle. And uh, 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 Tess was kind enough to send me a bottle of it. Tess is actually the one that sent me the original sample, so thank you. <laughs> we'll, we'll go ahead and swatch this at the end. There's um, also, I think, Diamine Soft Mint that I may not swatch today. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna put this with Communication Breakdown, and if we have time to do these two, we will. These are some shimmers, that, oh, that I haven't opened. Um, these are some shimmers that, like, shimmer additives from Pannonia. Which is exciting because I have a bunch of Pannonia inks to swatch as well. Um, it's a little bottle of like shimmer stuff. Speaking of shimmer stuff, I have that ink from uh, Melissa that, uh, oh I forgot the brand. It's like Cat Guards in the Garden or something like that. That comes with silver shimmer and gold shimmer. And I want to do a, a video on that too. So I have some purple shimmer and some violet shimmer. And so we'll play with these. I'm not going to swatch these either. I thought about swatching them, but I don't, I don't want to mess with them right now. But yeah, we have some silver shimmer and some purple sh shimmer that we can add to some of our inks. And I might add some of these because I do have Pannonias to swatch. Maybe we will um, do some experiments with those Pannonia inks as well. So yeah, so very exciting. I, I love shimmers, and so it'll be fun to make my own shimmers, so thank you. Um, the colors on these are Vila Gozlila and Aroost. I'm sure that I've said both of these incorrectly, but silver and the violet. Awesome. Thank you again so much. I really appreciate it. Like, again, nobody needs to send me anything. It's not a requirement. Um, I just, I love making these videos and I love doing these things and um, it's so great. So also before we get to the inks, I'm gonna set these off to the side. I kind of want to do them. Some of them are like sets of inks. We have some of the Vinta, that vin those Vinta sets that came out and then a couple of others bunch of diamines, but I want to make sure that I swatch the Vintas together. Because that those are like sets. There's some diamines here. Some diamine cult pens ink. So yeah, we have a lot of ink to swatch. Again, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm sorry that it's taken so long to showcase your lovely, wonderful generosity here. Um, as always, I have my coloring cards for swatching, and I have my glass dip pen, which appears to be not sitting here. Oh, because it's over there. I cleaned up my table some, so I, oh, speaking of, speaking of cleaning things up, here's the pink, the pink version. I have it inked up with Diamine Cerise, and it, I, I'm, I need to clean it out and re-ink it, because it's almost empty. But, yeah, beautiful, beautiful pens. Beautiful, beautiful pens. So thank you to my sister for this this one. This is probably the one that everybody gets, but when I went to buy them, I saw the pink one. And I was like, oh, I'm totally getting the pink one. <laughs> but yeah, they're super cute. Okay, let me grab my dip pen real fast. On my background, I just have some gray construction paper. Um, hi, Pearl. Oh, hi, Pearl. Pearl, are you saying thank you for the treats? Are you saying thank you, Casey, for the treats? Yeah, yeah, did you did you like that? You liked that, didn't you? Silly kitty. Um, yeah, before we go get to swatching the inks, I also received another gift that is not ink related, but is so special. Um, it's a little, it's like a wood burning. Uh, of a kitty cat and it says patches because it's for patches and I received this I don't I don't know if it's okay to say who sent it to me but thank you so much it means like it means the world to me I well I'm gonna cry looking at it right now I just miss this guy so much we all do but yeah this is a lovely gift that I received at Christmas and I just I'm blown away it was 
it was a nice lovely surprise so I'm gonna actually um, keep this in my room and um, yeah look at it fondly um, every time I can so yeah it was it's really beautifully done and then it's um, lined with some um, some velvet and uh, yeah it's just I could put it in, maybe I could put it in a frame or something I don't know it's just it's it's very gorgeous it's beautiful uh, it's so special it means the world to me so my little angel baby so thank you thank you so much you know who you are. Like I said, I don't know if it's okay to say who you are on, on, I uh, almost said on stream on, I spend so, way too much time on Twitch, um, on the video, but, um, thank you so much. Like really, this means the world to me and, um, it's very special. So thank you. Um, oh, whew. Oh, I did not intend to get emotional, but, oh, it gets me my poor kitty. It's been two months and I miss him. I still miss him every day. And one of my friends just lost her kitty, and so it's been, uh, it's been an emotional week, so, anyway. Anyway, whew, okay, breathe and breathe. We're gonna spot some inks. Ta-da! I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I don't wanna zoom in too much. And I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with, I'm gonna start with, I guess I'm gonna start with the, um, Diamine Cult Pens version. This is Diamine Little Lou. I've seen, I don't know if I've seen all of these on, um, Crafting Vicky's channel or, or Crafty Vicky's channel or if, uh, if it was just this one. I know that I've seen this one. Um, Pearl's probably, oh, I need a vial holder. I'm gonna bring my little octopus that we got from the ink flight because that's the first thing I grabbed. I have, like, seven ink vial holders up here. Um, but yeah, um. But I know that, um, I know that I've seen Little Lou on Crafting Vickies because I was like, oh, that yellow looks very nice. Oops, there's a cat hair. Okay. I don't know if that's too distracting. That might be too distracting. I'm not sure. So this is from... I'm gonna put TZ. I don't remember how I, she sent me inks before and I don't remember how I have it on the ring, but this is what we'll do. So this is Diamine. Colt. Pens. And this is Little. Little Lou. And see what that looks like. I think this is part of the Deep Dark series, if I'm not mistaken. I know their first like employee inks were um, were iridescent inks, but I think the, this new batch is a Deep Dark. Very nice. I can't wait to see what that looks like dry, to be honest. It's a really pretty mustardy yellow. Looks like it's gonna have really nice shading. Very nice, very nice. Set that to dry. Next up, we have. I want the. I want the. I want the littles. We have little Maddie, and where's the other one? No, is it here? Little Maddie and Little Mickey. We'll do Maddie first because that is what I had in my hand. This looks like it's a green gray sort of situation.
it's really pretty. I just um, blotted water onto the ink and it looks like it's like separating into some cool things. Here's what it looks like on the paper towel. It's like pink and blue. And that's um, Lou. Really nice dark gray. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. That one looks like a winner. Boom, boom, boom. Then we have little Mickey. How's everybody doing? I know that um, I know that we don't like to talk about uh, certain things going on in the world, but how's it? Ooh, this is a really pretty dark blue. It looks like. Um, but how's everybody doing? Like how? Are, I know things are ramping up again, and um, yeah, just I hope you're all doing well. Um, this new variant seems to be catching everybody so I hope that uh, you are doing okay you and your family and your close friends and yeah I just hope everything's going on going great in your world I don't like the way that ends up, oh, I got some on my finger. I don't like the way that is writing out of this nib. But this nib has like, has a sweet spot for me. There's like a certain position that I like holding this pen and I almost never get it right. So I have Twitch on in the background. Like I was saying, I watch too much Twitch. And uh, one of my friends is about to do a really cool fight in Dark Souls 3. So I have that on in the background. I'm kind of watching it. <laughs> I don't know if it's their own fight or if they're co-oping, but... This is very nice. Like a dark blue-black? Blue-purple-black? A blurble black. Oh, I can tell they're co oping. They're practicing the fight, so. Oh, that's really pretty. That's very pretty. I think it's blue. I remember um, Mick over at uh, over at uh, Mick L. So okay, so those were the diamond. We have a few more diamond inks. Um, I have Onyx Black. That is not a diamond ink. I have. I thought there were a couple more. Anyway, we have soft mint and we have communication breakdown. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and swap these, and then I'll move on to the Vinta inks and then the couple of miscellaneous. Oh, there's another one, Diamine Blood Orange, which was one of the anniversary inks. So cool. I have never used Onyx Black. I mean, it's black, so whatever, right? But I don't know. I feel like black inks are way more interesting than people make them out to be. A diamine. I'm trying to write onyx and diamine at the same time.
This is a really dark black. I like it. Uh, looks like it, I can't tell if it has purple undertones or not, but this is nice. This is a nice black. It felt really nice writing off the, um, off the dip nib too, which is always good. I mean, not that I use the dip nib to write on a regular basis, but it's always nice when it feels nice coming off that pen because that's, you know, just a glass nib, but ooh, pretty. It seems, yeah, in the parts where it's drier is a little lighter. It does look like there is maybe some purpley or like wine colored, um, undertones, but yeah, very nice. Feeling nice. Um, I have to check the time. Okay. I'm going to have to log back into work in a moment. But I will still finish this video because we ba we just barely got started. We have Blood Orange, which is a really pretty like reddish orange it looks like. This is one of the anniversary series, like I said. Um... I can't remember if I, I don't think I've tried this one before either. Ooh, this seems like it's a really wet ink. I think I got a little black on that one. Dime line. I really like some of these um, anniversary inks. Um, Safari is probably my favorite of those inks. Um, it's like my favorite that I don't have a bottle of. I have some cartridges, courtesy of Casey. Um, and I have a, probably a two, I've probably, I've gone through a sample and um, I think I've gotten, I might've gotten a sample from a pen friend and I've also um, ordered samples of my own, so I'm stocked up on that ink for a while, even though I don't have a bottle. This is really pretty. It's really nice and dark, but like, ooh, I like this. It's like a little, ooh, hello. Um, it's a little more red than orange, but um, definitely, definitely a, a, a reddish orange. Or an orangey red, red orange. I'm not sure, but yeah. Ooh, I like that a lot. I should put this in my um, terracotta. Um, my terracotta studio. It's not like a, a perfect match or anything, but it looks really nice. I bet it looked really nice in that pen. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Next up, we have Soft Mint, which I said I wasn't gonna swatch, but you know what? We'll go ahead and swatch it. I like to have accurate swatch records for my swatches with friends, even though I need to like organize all of my um, coloring cards. Um, so yeah, so we'll do Diamond Soft Mint. Oh, I wish I had my Jade, my Twisby Jade here. Somebody in the comments was asking about a good match, and I remember hearing about people using Diamine Soft Mint in that pen. I don't think it's a match. It's definitely more turquoisey than, um, than the Jade is, but this is also another ink that I like a lot. But this also looks, oh, I think I have my Swatch of Marathon Blue here. Um, Diamine Soft Mint. This is one of those samples that I actually like blew through. It's a lot like inks I already have though, so I've never like replaced it with um, a bottle. Like I've never replaced a sample with a bottle just because it's, you know, I have Sailor Alaska and I have, I have other inks like this. In this. I have Standard Bindery Clear Seas, which is actually maybe a little more even green than this, but, um, but yeah, I, oh, I love this ink so much. It's so bright and happy. I like putting it in um, my Pelican Marble or my Pelican um, Ocean Swirl um, or anything. But those two pens come to mind specifically. I'm gonna let this dry and I do have 
I do. Oh, okay. So Marathon Blue is maybe a little more interesting. Has a little. I can see the from the description what they were talking about, like clouds, yellow clouds, and whatever. Anyway, these are very similar, but we'll wait till this dries to do an actual comparison. Oh, that soft mint would look real cute in that uh, little pen. Just saying, if I wanted to go matchy matchy. <laughs> Um, okay, next up we have the Vinta inks. We have, um, the, I don't remember, let's see. Pilgrim's Blue, Pop, Blaze. I know that there's like a certain set. And I don't remember which ones go with which. Here's 70, 70. 73, and we have 93, 80, 93, and 2045. I don't remember which inks go with which set, so I'm just gonna swatch them how I, how I grab them. And we will start with Vinta Peregrino Pilgrim's Blue, 1970. Because that's the one I grabbed first. I'm actually going to need the vial because this is a long name. Maybe I won't pill rims blue. I think it's a nineteen seventy. Nineteen seventy. gonna swatch this and then we're gonna take a very very quick break you won't really notice that it's a break but it'll be a quick break for me I have to log into work because I'm off lunch now and uh, make sure I'm not missing anything important this is a nice blue kind of dusty not quite as muted as some other blues, but not like just a clear, clear blue. All right, I'm gonna set this off to the side to dry and I'm going to log into work and I'll be right back in just a second. Next up I have Vinta. Slab Blaze 1970. Ooh, that is a bright, bright, bright tomatoey red. This is one of those Vinta inks that might stain your pen though. Didn't really want to come off the nib. I think I got it though. All right, all right, let's go. Reminds me of Colorverse um, Alpha Ori. It's like that same like tomatoey color. Oh, I never I didn't do the scribble, so we'll just do this. It's not the same, but something's up there at least. I really should do the scribble though. That's ridiculous. Okay. There. Okay. Ooh, 
that's bright bright definitely more orange than blood oranges okay next up we have I'm gonna save that one for last we have magnetic blue or do I want to do the teal or do no, I'm gonna save that one what's this one Oh, both of these. I'm gonna save both of these. Um, which one do I want to do? We'll do we'll do the teal. Vinta Android Teal Astro Also, I'm also missing one of my paintbrushes. It's a little disconcerting because I don't know where it would go. This is nice. Reminiscent of teals that I already have, but still very nice. Very nice. I'd say it's more blue than soft mint, but gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Vinta Magnetic Blue. I realize I haven't been talking. Another bright, bright blue, bright, bright, bright blue. Reminds me a little bit of Lamy Pacific. Maybe it's not, maybe Pacific is a little greener, but that's what it made me think of at first. Or some of those Van Diemen's blues or Capri blue. I think it's from Monteverde, maybe? It's one of those, like, Caribbean blues. Okay. Then we have Vinta Beanie Beanie. Pink Rose. Oh, wait, no, I wanted to save that one. I'm going to do that one last. 
This is Vinta Electric Pink Tag Pond 2045. I'm sure that I said that incorrectly, but I'm sorry. I love swatching ink. That's why I get so many samples. It's not that I actually want all the samples. I just like swatching the inks. Vinta Electric Pink. This reminds me of that new Twisby grape. Electric Pink Tag Quan 2045. And do the scribble. Because Twisby grape is not really purpley. It's not like purple, like dye line grape or something like that. Not that one. That one looks. I like the shading and the writing. It'll be interesting to see if the swatch once it's dry. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you again, Tess, for uh, sending all these beautiful inks. Like, I just, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> so kind, so generous. One more vent ink. Beanie beanie. My phone keeps like tilting itself. Which is pink rose. This is probably the one that I'm the most excited about from this entire set. Um, like if I were gonna get this set, it's because of this ink. Because it just looks so pretty. Cat hair, cat hair. Rose pink, So pretty. I like this a lot. It seems like it's a little dry, but this brush also doesn't hold like a ton of ink, so. I love it. I love it. It's dusty like Lady Rose, but not as light as Lady Rose. It's like a little bit darker Lady Rose. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it so, so much. So much, it's so pretty. I'm not gonna move this around again. Next up we have Ackerman number 24, Zweeter Park Blaugun, which is like blue-green. Ackerman inks are so nice. If you haven't tried them, you definitely should get your hands on some samples at the very least. I really have enjoyed pretty much every every Ackerman ink I've ever tried. I have three of them in the collection. I have like three or four that I'd like to get as well. Mm. But yeah. I would like to buy some directly from 
from Ackerman. They pack their things so nicely and um, so we Deer Park Wow Grown. Ooh, this is pretty. This reminds me a little bit of Lamy Petrol. It's not quite as dark, I don't think, as Lamy Petrol is, but this is a pretty good color. I wish I had the cards nearby to do the comparison. Or not even nearby, organized enough that I could find things so I could do proper comparisons. That's really what's holding me back from doing comparisons is my stuff is in piles and I really just need to take the time to sit down and do it. And I've planned on doing that for months and just haven't done it. But yeah. Not as dark as Lamy Petrol, but I feel like it's a similar color family. So it's not Lamy Petrol at all, but it's very pretty. And it'll dry lighter as well. Some Eau de Nil vibes, but um, maybe a little more green. Very pretty. Really pretty. Okay, I have two more inks that we're going to swatch and then I will um, show you the finished cards. Well, I'll let the last ones dry and then I'll come back and show you the finished cards. This is Roar and Clinger Sketch Ink Thea. This will be interesting. I don't think I've used any of the sketch inks before. Although this looks like it has like some I wonder if it's like, I wonder if I just need to shake it up. It seems like there's like some stuff that might need to be, some like pigments or something that might need to be incorporated a little better. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it. These sketchings are pigmented and they're waterproof. I don't have any myself. I think I've gotten a couple samples. Um, I think that's better. I got all the bubbles in my ink in my thing now. We'll see how this fills because it was in mostly bubbles. very pretty gray. It's a very pretty gray. I want to say that I've seen uh, Creepy Nibs use this. Um, okay, let's uh, shake this up a little bit just to make sure stuff didn't settle. And yeah. Ooh, pretty. Like a, it's a brown, it's like a, it's a warmer gray, I think. I feel like my swatch is doing weird things because of how I applied it. Maybe I need to, oh, I don't want to add another layer though. I think my swatch is going to do weird things because of me plotting at it. That's gorgeous. It's not even dry yet, and it's so pretty. Last but not least, we are going to swatch once again Die Mine Communication Breakdown. This was a, I think it's a, one of the German exclusive inks. Um, I'm not sure if they were German exclusives or British exclusives. 
Um, but yeah, communication breakdown. Probably one of my very favorite red inks. We've swatched this before. You've seen it. You've seen it. A lot of you love it as well. Uh, so yeah, so and I'm gonna say this is a bottle because she's also sent me a sample. I did not give myself enough room, but that's okay. All right. This ink is so pretty. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. If you can get your hands on this, you definitely should. Sheen and shading. I think the base color is like freaking stunning. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we will set this off to the side to do its drying thing and we'll take a look at the other ones and then and then we'll see where this one is. I know we're all very familiar with this one on this channel, unless you're new, unless you're new, of course. Um, uh, okay, so let's, let's see what we've got going on here. We have, I tried to keep these in order, but I don't think I did a very good job of it. We have Little Lou. Let me zoom back out. I have a pile of ink samples. I have a pile of ink samples here. I should move them, but we'll leave them there for now. Diamine Little Lou. Then we have Diamine Maddie, which is this really, really, really dark gray. And Little Mickey, which is this really, really, really dark blue with some sheen, it looks like. Just the hint. The bear's tint. Then I have Diamond Blood Orange, which is one of the um, 150th anniversary inks. We have Onyx Black, which has, oh, it's like a black with black sheen. I freaking love that. I freaking love that. Again, you can see it's kind of purpley in the undertones. Um, yeah. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Maybe I'll put that in the pen my sister sent me. Um, then we did some of the Vinta inks, and I don't remember what order I did. Oh no, Diamine Soft Mint. Diamine Soft Mint. Okay, we're gonna, we'll compare this to Marathon Blue and some of these other ones in just a moment. Diamine Soft Mint. Okay, let's lift, lift this up so we can see a little better. Let's see all these great inks. Then we have the Vinta inks, and I don't remember what order I did any of these in, so we'll grab this one. I think I did Blaze first. We have Blaze, which has some um, sheen, it looks like. This reminds me of Cicatuna, except it's a little more orange. And I think Cicatuna is more red. We have Teal, Astro 1980. It's got some yellow in it, it looks like. Very pretty. This actually looks a lot like the Marathon Blue, but darker. Um, then we have, oh, this is actually the first one I did, this Pilgrim's Blue. I like this now that it's dry. It's kind of dusty, but still legible. Looks like it'll have really good shading. Um, then we have, oops, then we have that uh, Magnetic Blue, which is just one of those Caribbean sort of blue blues. Reminds me of um, a little of Sailor Michigan, like I said. Um, like Capri Blue, Lamy, Pacific, that kind of compacty maybe without the sheen perhaps. Those blue, those blue blues, those turquoisey blues. Then we have Electric Pink. This is wild. It's like purple, it's pink. The, um, the swatch has been contaminated on the paper towel, but it's literally like pink and purple. It's great. This is this is amazing. And then we have 
rose pink. I freaking love this. I 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 wish you didn't have to buy the set because if you could buy this in a single bottle, I would. Um, then we have this blue green. Very pretty. Definitely not at all like Flammy Petrol like I thought it was. Um, am I missing any? I'm missing one. Then we have the sketching Thea. I really like this. This is a really pretty gray. And then this is still drying, but we have Diamine Communication Breakdown. Favorite on the channel. Definitely favorite on the channel. Thank you again, Tess, for sending me this beautiful ink, both in sample and bottle form. And all of these samples. I can't wait to play with them. You are amazing. And um, yeah. And thank you again to my dear friend who made the sweet the sweet sweet patches um plaque oh my boy and to casey for the pen and the ink samples that we will swatch in another time very soon and also thank you to my sister for the pen and the ink that she sent um like i said i'm gonna have to get a replacement bottle for this ink i think um Unless I have, maybe I may have one. I might, I save empty ink bottles, so I might have one that I could decant this into. I'll have to check. Um, but yeah, actually I do. I have a Noodlers bottle that I uh, just cleaned out for a different bottle of ink. Um, it was one that I bought from Van Ness when I bought some inks. Like I bought it specifically for, it's one of those Califolio pouch inks. So this is still sealed and in a great shape. So I might decant this into that Noodlers bottle instead. Um, okay, cool. So anyway, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you again, Tess, for sending me these beautiful inks. Um, check uh, Tez Can out in the comments. I'll link her Instagram as well. She does really great stuff um, during 30 Inks in 30 Days. I love watching her Instagram, her ink pictures, and things like that. They're really great. And um, you are an amazing, sweet, wonderful person. She also sent some toys for Patches and Pearl. Um, also, obviously, before Patches passed away. But um, yeah, I haven't let Pearl play with them yet, though, because... I don't know why I'm hoarding them, but I am. <laughs> so I'll definitely have to let you know how that goes when um, she gets to play with them. But Ooh, excuse me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, this is a really pretty palette of inks. Honestly, look at all these colors. Look at all these colors. We've got everything. Oh, 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 before we go, I want to pull these two out um, and we'll go ahead and uh, Oh, I'm going to save this off to the side. It's still drying. Um, we're going to... Oh, I can't wait to get this in a pen. I think I know what pen I'm going to put it into. Um, I'll get those out of the way. I want to show it next to that Robert Oster uh, Marathon Blue. So here's Soft Mint. Let me go ahead and we'll zoom in a little bit. If I can do that. My phone's a little higher than it usually is, so... There. And then Astro Teal. And here's what these two look like next to each other. Definitely has more blue in it than green. Um, yeah. Anyway, I hope that was helpful at all. Um, yeah. Again, I will see you again very soon with another video. I have more ink to swatch. Um, and I have some pens that I want to uh, play with that I can't play with yet because I haven't made a video. So, thank you again so much for watching. I will talk to you again very soon. Take care and love you. Bye!